be back with another video and today we are changing an inducer motor on this 80,000 BTU 80% furnace and first thing we notice here is that uh, this has been worked on before we've got a uh, uh, dangling pressure switch which isn't uh, good but <clears throat> what uh, what we're here to do today is to uh, change out this now I had already diagnosed this and basically I turned it on and when it tried to energize the uh, inducer motor just sat there and the motor was real hot so uh, we popped the cover off here and you notice the bearings are just shot it was froze up pretty hard before so that's uh, that's the issue here so we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> Power's off because the door switch is off. This particular furnace does not have a uh, <coughs> a uh, service disconnect here, but that's okay. We can get by without it. So we're gonna disconnect the electrical wires. Disconnect the vacuum tube. <coughs> Okay, so sometimes you run across basements like this. This isn't the worst one I've ever seen. Ugh. So this particular inducer motor has this uh, transition on it. So we're going to take this pipe off and we're going to have to take this transition off. That's not not legal there either. We're gonna have to probably fix that. <clears throat> Take the bottom one is it's got a slit not a hole so we can just loosen that one up <clears throat> should be able to pull it back push it up a little bit that whole thing will come right out now like i said on this one it's got the the new one has a tr new transition on it but it doesn't have this round piece see so we're gonna have to take this round piece off and put it on a new one so five sixteenths. This is a vacant house. <clears throat> okay, so discard that one.
Go. 